Go to the Tools panel in Affinity Photo, Rectangle Tool, just down to Polygon Tool. Go up here to the top and you can set the color to red, green, whatever, stroke. You can also set various stroke settings here as well, but also you can go over here to sides. And the key thing is enter six. With six there, you can then just drag, hold down the shift to create a regular sort of basic hexagon design. If you don't do that, of course, what you can do, you can just create it in any shape or form like that. So it's slightly different. You can also, of course, rotate it, shear it, much, much more as well. So a variety of different designs that you can create just using this. What you can also do is create the hexagon there. You can fill it with gradients. So just go up there, fill, and you can set, say, a gradient. But I'm just gonna keep it as red, but or blue or green, doesn't matter. You can change the curves, so you can change that. So you can go backwards and forwards there, make it more like a circle if you want. And the thing is, you can also set the smooth points. You can see a very subtle change there. Also very useful with that tool, what you can do, you can click here, just settings. So if you've created something you like, you've got this design, you think this is a great design, what you can do, go up here and you can create a preset. So just create a preset, call it whatever, hexagon one, and then you've saved it there. So you can use it again. You can click on any of these and you can see that you've got your design very quickly like that. And that's for the polygon tool. You can see most of the polygon there are all basically, also got octagon as well. However, let's just go with a hexagon I've just created. Because what you can also do is you can convert it to curves. So with that design there, you can right click and you've got down the bottom here, convert to curves. Let's convert to curves elsewhere as well. You can see it up here as well. So convert to curves. And now it's converted to a curve. What you can do, you can go over here, there, no tool. So there's the no tool and you can modify the nose. Just so you decide, you know what? I don't want just a very basic hexagon design. I can sort of modify it slightly, create a nice curvature design like that and a variety of other designs that can be created there. Also, you of course can always use this, the pen tool to create a hexagon. Very simple, just needs, of course, six sides. That is still a hexagon. So that can be used as well. However, what you can also do, got the hexagon. So just create a very basic hexagon. Hold down the shift again to get it nicely foot, just like that. Again, if you want to, you can modify it, convert to curves, tweak some of the points using the node tool. But also what you can do, you can go to the brushes and you can save it to that, to use it as a brush, or maybe as a pattern. But you need to convert it, you need to convert it to layer, and rasterize. So layer and rasterize, that's the key thing. So as soon as you've done that, it now becomes a pixel layer. That's the key thing, it's no longer a vector design that you can modify, tweak, resize, etc. particularly easily, of course, you can resize it still. But now with brushes, with that selected, you can go over here and you can go down to new brush from selection. So that hexagon design can be saved as a brush. And of course, what you can do, you can tweak it, double click, brushes entry there. Then you go through size jitter, change all those, hue, jitter, so and so. So you create a really nice sort of hexagon brush very quickly from this. And of course you can then apply it using the paintbrush tool, etc. Also, what you can do, layer, and go down there to new pattern layer from selection. So you've got that design there and you can move it around. You can also delete the original, so just get rid of that. And you can then, of course, tweak the size, change it, stretch it, rotate it, and course, much, much more. Combine it with other ones. Hold down the ultra option key and duplicate the design and create all kinds of other designs as well. Hope you found this of interest. Thank you much.